Capricorns, welcome back to my channel. So let's jump into your messages and see what the universe wants you to know. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that when I upload readings, you guys will be notified. All right, so we're going to see what does the universe want you to know and how does this person feel about you. We're going to get three cards from this deck, three from this, and then we're going to get some tarot. All right, so when I was doing your pre-shuffle, I was picking up the energy that somebody feels like Capricorn, that you will never let go of the hurt that they've caused you. Um, they feel like you're always going to be triggered or guarded. I feel like somebody is trying to sweep something up underneath the rug instead of actually doing the healing work. But we'll see. All right, so we're going to get three from this deck and see what this person is feeling and thinking about you. Capricorn. What is Capricorn's person feeling and thinking about them? What is Capricorn's person feeling and thinking? Oh, okay. This one turned over, so we're going to take it. So instead of three, you have five. Capricorn. All right, so let's see. So we have good news. You're going to receive some good news that will make you very happy. Answer the call when that time comes. It will change your life for the better. And then we have home. This is a time when you'll spend more time at home, uniting with family or creating your own, making decisions to accomplish the family purpose, to build a stronger bond. So some of you don't want to um, be bothered with other people. You just want to stay at home, be with your children, maybe be by yourself. We also have secrecy. There's a situation or a person that's not what it appears to be, but you will slowly start to uncover things that have been kept a secret. Pay close attention to your surroundings. So some of you know something about this person. Maybe you're investigating it. You're getting more information, but the universe is saying when it is time for you to uncover these secrets, you'll know things will come to you or you'll think back on something like, oh, okay, this is why I was feeling this or this is why I was feeling that. Something is going to come to the light. All right. So that's what the universe wants you to know. Now let's see what this person is feeling and thinking about you. Um, we have, I have to keep myself guarded right now. I need to know your intentions are good before I open up to you. Someone may feel like you still um, have a vendetta against them. Or you're still vengeful against them. I'm afraid of expressing my feelings and have you reject me. My ego won't be able to handle it. I can't stop feeling guilty and regretful for all the things I've done to you. I hope you can forgive me. I saw this card in your pre-shuffle. A lot. And then we have someone caused a rift between us. I'm not sure if we will be able to recover from this. So this sounds like third party energy. Or you court this person um, doing something or they said something or something came out. And now... Someone is wanting you to just forget about it and move forward, but you're like, no, you may find this hard to deal with. Maybe this person lied to you several times about the same situation. Maybe you asked them a question and they didn't tell you what was really happening, what was really going on behind the scenes, and then you found something out. It hurts to see online that you've moved on with your life. I'm suffering in silence. So some of you may have walked away from this person or you're just not talking to them right now. And then for others of you, I feel like this person is still up underneath you. They still want to be with you, but you feel some type of way. You don't feel comfortable. Maybe you're just not ready to get over something. You don't feel like you have all of the answers. So someone may be feeling like um, they don't know how to make things right with you. They may be wondering if they ever can make things right with you, Capricorn. So we'll see. What messages do you have for Capricorns? We have the Two of Cups. So someone is in love with you. They may not always show it. We do have the Nine of Wands. So again, this person is being guarded. They're guarded. Unless this is you, Capricorn. Let's see what else comes out. What messages do you have for Capricorns? All right, this looks like your person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, someone is really guarded towards. I feel like you guys are guarded towards each other because we have the seven of wands and the nine of wands. So I feel like you are the wounded warrior here 
you've been hurt several times you've forgiven this person over and over again and you're like i'm not about to keep doing that and then you keep disappointing me um the two of you are finding it hard to manifest together i feel like there is love there because the two of cups came out early in this reading so definitely you love them they love you but you guys find it hard to get along with each other maybe you need a break here but you don't want to take it what messages do you have for capricorns yeah someone's going to keep showing you love though because they're they don't want to lose out on you what is capricorn's person feeling and thinking about them The Eight of Swords, this person feels like you won't open up about what you're truly feeling. You're keeping it to yourself. Maybe you feel like, what's the point? Like when you tell this person what you're feeling and thinking, it turns into an argument or they don't believe something that you say. Or they argue with you about your feelings. With that Eight of Swords, I feel like you're not sure if you want to stay with this person or if you want to leave them alone. messages do you have for Capricorn what is their person feeling and thinking all right so we have the king of wands here and we also have the temperance reverse some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius a Leo or an Aries and there's just a lot of um imbalanced energy here Some of you are tired of arguing with this fire sign and they're tired of arguing with you, but I don't feel like either one of you are ready to leave each other alone. What messages do you have for Capricorn? Somebody feels like you're being very stubborn towards them. You have a hermit, Virgo energy. Yeah. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo and your back is turned towards this person. And they're just waiting on you. They're waiting on you to talk, express yourself. You know, even if it's bad, this person wants to know. Oh, this person already knows there's going to be conflict. Maybe somebody is just waiting. You know what? This is the type of energy where someone is just looking in on you, Capricorn. And they're watching you. But they may be afraid to approach you or say something to you because they feel like there's going to be an argument with the Five of Wands. Or maybe this is what happens when you guys try to come together and have a conversation and talk. It always turns into an argument. So it's like you don't get anything solved. You're Some of you are unable to move past a situation. When it comes to this person, you're like, how can we move past this? I feel like you and your person feel this way, but your person, your person definitely feels this way about you. They feel like you won't let them get over something or you won't let them live something down or, um, but I feel like it's because this person's trying to sweep something under the rug and you want answers. You have questions, you want answers. And I feel like you're like, we're not sweeping this under the rug. We're going to deal with this or you're not going to deal with me. Knight of Swords, Five of Wands. Some of you could be dealing with an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. What messages do you have for Capricorns? Yeah, they don't know how to make you happy. I feel like this person keeps trying to come towards you and maybe talk to you. So this is someone who's wanting to make up with you but they feel like you're, you don't know what you want. There's stagnation here. There's a lot of stagnant energy. Like some days, I feel like Capricorn, you have your good days and your bad days with this. And this person is just going to have to understand that. Like some days you may want to be bothered. And there's going to be other days where you may not want to be bothered because you still have this on your mind. Maybe some of you feel like there's some sort of action you should be taking against this person. But you don't know what to do. You're like, I don't even know how to handle this, but you just know that you don't want this person to think that they're getting away with this. Some of you may be dealing with a Leo. And we also have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy with this Knight of Cups. But this is someone who keeps trying to come in 
and maybe offer love. Maybe they're doing it the wrong way. Maybe this person is coming toward you, you know, trying to have a conversation with you, maybe through text message, and they text you what you're doing. And you're like, why are you trying to talk to me about what I'm doing when I'm mad at you, when we're going through something and you still haven't told me what really happened here? I don't have the truth about something. So I feel like they're trying to make light of the situation and you're like, no, nah, I'm not letting up. And this is somebody who wants you to let up on them. They want you to take your, they want you to just chip some ice off of your shoulder because I feel like some of you are very cold towards this person. And so they're feeling like they can't um, they can't get you to change your attitude. We have the King of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords reversed, the Moon, the Lovers, the King of Swords. So we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius with the Ace of Swords reversed. I feel like there is going to be a new beginning. You guys are going to get on the same page at some point. But right now with the Ace of Swords... It's hard to do that because you're still not over like what has happened. Something is still making you feel a certain way. I do see you guys coming back together, working this out with the lovers. You may feel like there's an important decision that needs to be made when it comes to love. And you're like, I don't know whether I want to stick around with this person. Maybe you're thinking like they may lie to me again. You feel like you don't know what their intentions are with this Ace of Swords reverse. And they're not making it clear. So they, this person is feeling like they don't know how to help you get over what has happened. So you guys won't stay stagnant at the same point and keep arguing about the same thing. And you're not sure if you just want to let this go or let them go. <laughs> like, you just, I feel like you just don't know. All right, let's get one more. Give me one more for Capricorns. What was this? Yep. Look at that. Justice card in reverse. We have Libra energy here. The Two of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Tower with the Eight of Cups. Some of you may feel better. You know what? <laughs> Capricorns, you may feel better if you walk away from this person, right? Even if it's for a little bit. Even if it's, you know, temporary. It doesn't have to be forever. But you may feel better. Because some of you can't let this go. you like, I refuse to let this go. Because you feel like, why? You're like, it's causing you to feel a burden. It sort of feels uh, like it's a burden on you to to um, talk to this person again or be in their company again or be nice to them again because you feel like they don't deserve it. The tower is here. So whatever this person did to you, Sometimes you feel like it's no coming back from it, but you still love them. But you feel like you were treated unfair and you're you're still wanting to know like why. I'm hearing why. Like why would you treat me like this? Why did you do this to me? Like why did you lie about it? And what I'm seeing is this person is like, okay, what's done is done. I said I was sorry. I still love you because I did see the Knight of Cups back here. So I feel like this person may have tried to apologize. And for some of you, maybe they didn't apologize the right way. Maybe you're like, no, I deserve more. Like, you can't just do what you did and think that, you know, everything is good and come back and talk to me. But someone is trying to figure out how to get you to move on from whatever this is. And so you guys can sort of heal the situation. But the star card is reversed here with the Ten of Swords. So you may be seeing it as this person has betrayed you and stabbed you in the back too many times to heal this, but yet you still love them. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. So those are the messages that I have for your reading. Thank you for watching my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.